On this episode, I take my daughter Hudson on her very first big game hunt. We will be hunting migrating caribou at the base of Alaska's famous Brooks Range with my good friend Casey Butler from Hutchin and his son Gage. All four of us are going to have tags on this hunt, but my main goal is to get my daughter her first big game animal. Guys, I can't tell you how nervous and anxious I am for this hunt. I am headed with my daughter to the far reaches of Alaska. Super, super excited. Hudson's never been on a plane before. Like as a father, when I put myself into the situation, no big deal. When you get your kids involved, it's a whole different situation. So we packed up enough food for 10 days off grid and we headed to the airport. How are we feeling? Very excited. Nervous at all? No. Not bad. I just want to take off. I want to go. We're going to go. I want to go. Take off and landing, best part. So everything so in between? Cool. Amazing. Terrible. After two long days of travel, we meet up with Casey and Gage in Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. Hey, if we don't have it, we don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> we have got more stuff. We took up most of the belly of the plane, I would assume. <laughs> We're getting here. We met some new friends. They are caribou Hi. hunting too. And um, so, guys, this is gonna be a super, super awesome adventure, and it starts right now, kind of. We are closer to Russia right now than we are closer than we are up to home. Did you good at geography? Yeah, I'm great. No, and it frustrates me. Ooh, I see that pen. See Ooh. the pen? Yeah. Don't, don't be stealing, stealing them. Stealing, stealing. <laughs> From here, we're gonna be hopping on my first ever airboat ride and head upstream 62 miles to the hunting grounds. So airboats are generally used for Alaska travel in super, super shallow streams. Here's the whole thing that I wanted to talk about. This is one big reason that we came is they got a hold of Casey and they said, hey, kids go free. Yeah, if you're looking to take your kids somewhere, they're like, no, kids come for free. Okay, so we took a few hour boat ride up the river and now we are at this cabin. But it is so pretty out here. The water is like a greenish blue and then you can just see so many mountains. We're unpacking right now, but I'm filming so I don't have to unpack, but I will in a second. But yeah, it's honestly the prettiest place in the world. Yeah, we've been glassing all morning. Caught a fish this morning, grayling. Oh, oh, did you guys hear about that fish I caught this morning? Oh, that, that's weird. Did you guys hear about it? Yeah, we did. Oh. Six times. The camp down, about three miles down, probably heard about it too. <laughs> Word spreading fast. Well, it jumped, okay. So we are just here this morning doing some light glassing. And so there's a lot you can't see. So what we're doing here is these ridges. We're glassing these tall, tall ridges for caribou. But over this first hump, there's a lot of ground that you can't see. So we're going to probably do some breakfast and get mobile here in just a little bit. Our plan is to hike clear up this mountain back behind me and uh, looks like about three miles or so and then be able to glass into these basins and hopefully we can find some caribou in there. So we'll see. I don't know. It should be, uh, should be a good day. Should be. It's not raining right now, so that's good. Start. What do you guys think? I think I'm excited to go do some tundra hiking. So excited to do some tundra hiking. We're going to go tundra hiking and go on an adventure and hopefully find some caribou along the way. If not, we'll have fun. But it's just, caribou hunting is definitely, you can't get overly excited early. Because really, like, this, especially this program, it's not like if the caribou aren't here, we're going to be like, well, let's go to the next spot. We're just here. We've committed. We're here for seven days. They're either here now or they will be here eventually. We just got to keep putting in some work and we'll find them. Caribou are wild, wild creatures. They could show up in the river tomorrow morning, or they could be up on top of that hill. You just never know. Just remember that. We're gonna shoot the gun and verify real quick on this rock down in this piece of water down here. Oh. Feel good about it, Seth? I hit right. You hit. I hit. Where you hit right was right Amy? Right, right, right. It was good. From everything that we heard from people, they told us not to go far from your main glassing mm -hmm. point. So we set up by the cabin mostly, and it was a lot better for the kids too because we could stay in one spot. Waking up on day two of hunting, we picked wild blueberries and made pancakes. So there's that. You just gotta put out the vibe. If you want the caribou to come, you gotta let them know. I would. Hey, 
we're here. We're ready to party. That's a pretty nice necklace. My buddy made it for me. Yeah. He he's must... into he's into fine jewelry, things he, like that. He must be educated. Arts and crafts. Educated. He's got almost a two year degree. Almost. <laughs> so close. So so yeah, just glass in the morning. Uh this morning saw a muskox right over on this gravel bar behind me. Haven't seen those really before. So, um, and uh, it was kind of a long distance, but I got some video of it. And then we saw a grizzly up on this hillside up here this morning as well. So, <sighs> muskox, grizzly, we're just checking things off the list. We're trying to get to where that caribou, we need to check that off the list. We're just gonna have the best time of our life here. And today we're gonna walk up this river, do some fishing this morning, pack the guns though, hike up on some tall kind of bluffs and do some scoutings for some, hopefully some caribou come through. So. Should be a good day, hopefully. After glassing and taking breaks to fish throughout the day, we had zero caribou sightings thus far. Waking up early on day three to heavy rain, as I look out the window of the cabin, I spot a group of caribou in the distance. All right, I just woke up and um, it's pouring down rain and all the kids are all sleeping. It's super early in the morning, but I just threw glass out here. There's four caribou bulls. Can you see them at all, bud? That's a good bull, dude. I know, they're walking across. It's pouring and they're moving fast. We haven't got the kids up. Kids are still both sleeping. <clears throat> Didn't see it going down quite like this, but these are our first caribou that we saw. There's four bulls, caribou bulls right here, out the window. Big ones. They're big ones. But they're moving, they're walking that way. And it's pouring down rain. To get ready and to get everything set, but I don't know, just kind of wake up though, hon, and we'll see what happens here, okay? Give me a game plan. I think we should get our stuff together and just go on the same path we went yesterday. Just walk up the river. They could be crossing the river right there. Easily. Yeah. Those are shooters. For sure. There's four four bulls there. It's the great migration. I think it's fair to say we're all awake. Gage? Not quite yet. Gage. Get ready, right. bud? <laughs> ready? Take, take, take a shot. Get him. Get him, bud. We just gotta go back up the way that we were last night and hopefully shoot across the river and get them. So, ready? Yeah. Trying to wake up. Let's all try to get get motivated here, guys. Good. You guys are doing awesome. You guys are doing awesome. All right, we're gonna walk up the edge over here. We're gonna make a plan. For the caribou. The caribou, right? Right there on that on that knob right now. So, let's make a plan. Let's go make some memories. Hopefully we can run them down. The fog's starting to move in pretty thick, so I don't know if visibility is gonna be any good. We gotta try. They're on our side now, so we're making a stalk here. If we can see them out in front of us. I can't see Once the bulls get in range, both Hudson and Gage get prone and ready for a shot. There's three of them walking together. You yeah, see I've them? got them. Okay. You ready, Gage? No, you guys behind bushes. Okay, you're you're on fire. I'm not ready, Dad. I know you're not. I know you're not. But just get ready. I've lost them. See him now? Yeah. Are you good? Is there any way you could like yell at him or something? Okay, when you get a shot, sis. Okay, tell us who's getting shot. They're just walking. They're shooting what? I'm shooting the one in the head. Okay. I've got three of them walking together. At this time, Casey is filming the bull that Gage is aiming at, while Hudson's bull is 50 yards out of frame. If he's broadside, when he's broadside, you can take him. But he's walking. I know. I know. He's broadside. No. Says so you see the one walking to the right? 
Can you stop now? I got two of them next to each other. Alright. Is there a broadside? No, he's just lost. Whoa. See the two in front of the hill? I broadside? Got, yeah, I have them, but he just keeps walking. No, they're, they're standing still right now. Now the front now one's watch. See the back one? On target, Dad. On scope, send it. Reload, sis. Reload. They shoot at the exact same time as both bulls stop walking. Right there still. Oh. Nice, dude. Okay, can you put another ball? Now Casey moves to Hudson's bull. Yet. I don't know yet. We're just looking here. Okay, see that one standing loud and proud, sis? Yeah. You see that? Let's let me get a good range first. I just I can't it's just find him. There he is. Hold on. That should be the range. You see the big one right there on the left side of the knoll? Yeah, I've got him. All right. He just needs to stop. Okay, if ready? he stops, take once he stops. Right there, take him. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> you, hold on, hold on. Get another round in. Get another round in. Get another round in. He's backing up. You see him, sis? Yeah, I got him. If you can shoot again, shoot again. Shoot again. Shoot again. I can't. He's straight up on me. It's okay. If you see him, just try to get a bullet in him. There, shoot. Got him. Perfect. Shot. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. You did it. 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 Praise God. Praise God. That's a big one too. That's a big one. Oh. Get your cooler, buddy. Are you? Way to go, Hudson. Gager. Gentlemen. You guys came to Alaska. Ladies. You guys came to Alaska. Hey, guess where we're at, Hudson? We're in Alaska. We're in Alaska. See? You did it. First big game hunt. You what did do you it. think? It's amazing. You did it. <laughs> this is <amazing. laughs> It's rain or tears, it's both. Uh, it's both, it's both. Work man, that's a lot of, a lot of things to go through. Oh, um, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for letting us be here, that was awesome. <sighs> Thanks for the invite. And that, my daughter, is a giant caribou. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. He only has one shovel in the front. Yep, here, let me see that gun. You get, go ahead, grab onto him. What do you think of that? That's so crazy. How pretty is that thing? They're so pretty. Way to go, sis. He only has one shovel. He you you has, yeah, has one shovel. And, yeah. Yeah. You guys both did it. That's what I'm talking about. That's, That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. <laughs> Lord, we are in Alaska. We said it so many times this trip. We're just, uh, just so blessed with what we get to do and especially what we get to do with our kids. We just want to thank you for this experience and thank you for good friendship and Casey inviting us up here and just it's just been a blessing for all of us. So thank you so much. Help us to stay safe the rest of the trip and please help our families at home to know that we're having the time of our life. Amen. 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 Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Go cut some caribou meat, huh? Let's go cut some meat. It's it's crazy. Crazy? It just goes to show that anyone could do anything. Like, even at my age, you can, if you really put your mind to it, you could kill one of these animals easily. It just takes a lot of practice and hard work, and but it all pays off in the end. Don't you agree, Father? Yeah, I do on it. I do. Anybody can do, and what may not be hunting, it may, it may be something totally different than hunting it may be art it may be whatever like if you want to learn something and you want to do something put your mind to it and anything is possible i never thought i'd be with my 14 year old daughter in alaska skinning out a giant caribou bull i just never thought that but just as of last year it all came to 
it all came to and it just like I uh, always jump at opportunities that's another thing too like Casey said hey I think we should take our kids to Alaska first thing I said is yep where are we going and Dead Horse Outfitters was who he's been with us the last three years and man it's so easy like in hunting guys you've seen us the last three days we haven't seen any we haven't seen one caribou not one we've seen grizzly bear musk ox yeah no that's wolves it. that's about it it's been and caught a couple fish and it's just been like it's been a little bit of a grind but it, man we're just so blessed if you just stay at it and stay at it and try to just keep positive and keep going and keep going giant bull so guys we're gonna kind of get to going here with the pouring down rain it's just getting a little cold this might be segment one over with on this video next video hopefully hopefully i get to shoot a wolf i just wanted her to kill one i didn't i don't care about killing myself but um, we still have five more days we got four, four more, more days. days so and i got a caribou tag casey has a caribou tag and we both have wolf tags so Fingers crossed we see something and come across it. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. Get out there, do something different. Do something uh, with your kids or with a neighbor kid that doesn't have a mentor, something of that nature. Uh, you will definitely be blessed for it, I promise you. So we're gonna be doing a batch release, so get ready for tomorrow. The next episode will air tomorrow at four o'clock.